Hey, this is Pastor Curry, pastor of the Ezai and Fair Baptist Church, Wilmington's most exciting church, the church that love ya and ain't a thing you can do about it. Today with Coffee with Curry, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. And you can tell when I have someone on the show that I'm excited about. And yes, the state representative, Sherry uh, Dorsey Walker, uh, is with us today. And I'm excited to have her here as we are preparing ourselves for the 2024 election. I am not going to ever tell you who to vote for because that wouldn't be right. But I'm going to tell you who I'm going to vote for. I'm voting for Sherry Dorsey Walker. So you, you can follow a suit or you don't. But there's only one real choice, and that's Sherry Dorsey Walker. So I hope that you will do that. But she's with me today, and I'm looking forward to this interview. Why don't you call somebody real quickly? Tell them Coffee with Curry is on, and let's get after it. Good morning, Delaware and surrounding areas. You are now tuned in to this week's Coffee with Curry. Join us every Sunday at 11 a.m. with new guests every week. So grab your cup of coffee and join us on Coffee with Curry. And we're back. As I promised you all, I have sitting with me today the honor and the privilege of sitting with Sherry Dorsey Walker. Welcome to the Coffee with Curry show again. Thank you, Dr. Curry. <laughs> it is always a pleasure being with you. Man, I tell you, I, I and, and you know what I'm really happy about? As much as you run up and down this state, I mean, you every time I go somewhere, she just left. She just <laughs> left. I, for you to even find time. That's, I want to take a personal privilege moment for you to even find the time to spend some time with me today. I'm appreciative to this. And I'm sure those who are watching us are feeling the same way I'm feeling. You are everywhere. I mean, you, I mean, what, you're 20? <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, I don't know where the energy comes Listen, from. Listen, the Holy Spirit. I make it my business <laughs> yes. to be with the people. And yes. I always have and I shall continue to do so. Yes, yes. Well, before we get started, I do always want to ask about mom and everybody uh, to make sure everybody's good. And yes. then we're going to get into because we want to jump into the yes. heart of what we're talking about today. So how is everybody? Everyone is well. Okay. And she so appreciated the birthday shout out. <laughs> she did. <laughs> well, you give her a shout out real quick. Let her know that you're thinking about her. Well, mommy, we love you. You the best thing that ever happened to any of us. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't look at the camera, mommy, but, but oh, I just okay. want to make well, sure. I'll just I just say it like sure. this. Mommy, we love you. And we thank God for 80 <laughs> years of life. On 7-7, we celebrated your 80th birthday. And so I'm with one of your best friends and your other son, Dr. Curry. <laughs> And I'm going to do a shout out for my husband as well, yes. because he is indeed involved with this whole process. And my team, thank you so much for yes. a job well done. You're much appreciated. Amen. Well, this is your show. This is you just do what you want to do. I am totally, uh, thoroughly endorsed Sherry Dorsey uh, uh, Walker because of you, you. You didn't start this yesterday. I did not. And the selfless service mm. that you continue to perpetuate mm. is why I can't even think twice. There are some people I know, but you have proven to be a friend in at, at all times, not just in certain situations. Mm. So as I started off the show today and I shared I mean, how you are everywhere. Mm. I mean, I'd be down in Sucks, Sucks, <laughs> and they're saying, you know, she was here because I'll be spreading the word about you too. I want to make Thank sure you. everybody understand if I'm preaching somewhere, if I'm speaking somewhere, right. I want the people to know uh, I'm, I'm a Sherry person. I want, I want her to get You're in. A Sherry supporter, huh? I, I, very much so. Yes. Very much so yes. without any, any uh, apologies. Mm. Um, but you know, as we get into the seriousness of this, um, in your opinion, do you really think that experience matter as we are talking to the people today. Do you really believe that experience matters in this position that you're, you're going for? I do, Dr. Curry. I, as you know, I previously served on the Wilmington City Council. I completed my third full term as a state rep and I served on the Board of Parole. And the Lieutenant Governor has two roles, to preside over the Senate and to chair the Board of Pardons. So I do believe experience matters for this particular position. And I believe it's not just a, a next rung on my resume. Mm -hmm. This is an opportunity to help God's people at a higher level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I and I and I and I see it so much. I mean, you, you you've been selfless, and I, and I'm not going to stop saying that because you have been, Thank even you. when you was just in the city, mm -hmm. um, and I saw you just your trajectory going. Some may have tried to say that people who try to go to the t lieutenant governor uh, position is really to pad their resume. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about whether or not that's the case, and or some information on maybe why people would mm -hmm. use it as that opportunity. 
I can't speak for anyone else, but I can speak for myself. Okay. And as a lieutenant governor, I am running for lieutenant governor. I'm mm -hmm. not running for another seat. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Curry, I'm 10 toes down in this race. Mm -hmm. I don't have one foot in another seat mm -hmm. and another foot in another role or something mm -hmm. like that. I resigned, excuse me, I retired from being a state rep representative in June so that I could pursue this full time. So upon winning this election, mm -hmm. I'll be able to bring people together because the importance of this moment is to rise to unify. Mm -hmm. Dr. Curry, it is attractive to me to be able to give people second chances mm -hmm. as the chair of the Board of Pardons. It is attractive to me to be able to help people at a higher level and to use my power to benefit the people. That's what attracts me to the lieutenant governor's role, mm -hmm. not a rung on the resume, not one more notch, notch up. What matters to me is being able to help the people. Yeah. And, and, and as you're saying that, you know, and for those of you who are watching us, I really need you to make sure that you understand that she's not just saying these words. You know, we interview a lot of people, Certainly. you know, and people watch the show and they say, you know, she's probably just saying that or that person saying that for this reason or another. But genuinely, you really believe what you're saying. Because if I was your husband, I probably would have told you to settle down and sit down a long time ago because yes. you you so you, you pour so much into people. I do. And try your best to make sure that it's not about Sherry. That's right. And you honor your God. I do. And, and publicly, not I do. privately. I do. So, so, mm -hmm. so reason why I asked that question about, you know, is this just another trying to pad your resume? Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask that so that the people will know this is who you are. That's who I am. You work in seasons as your, your, your right. risen savior has taught you to do. Absolutely. It's your season. To, 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 to now serve in this role mm. and there's a purpose in it. Yes. You talked about pardons. Yes. You talked about the fact that that we're overrepresented in the prison system. And then there are some things, you know, quite naturally, you're not trying to let the people who don't kill 28 people right. out of prison, but, but it's, it's about those voiceless individuals who may not deserve to be where they are and they are proving themselves. So I think this is something that people really need to buy into and you've prepared yourself as the years have gone on. I did not know, and it's, it, please forgive me, I'm so busy, um, I'm um, blowing your horn and making sure that people know who you are. I didn't know that you had retired mm -hmm. from um, the state representative position. I did. Oh, wow. So that, that really speaks. And when you said that, I, was, I kind of like went back a little bit because yes. people don't do that. They yeah. they run and keep running and so they can keep a position. But you really are thoroughly committed to the fact that you want to see, that you want to be in a position that you may do the work that has been assigned to you. I'm thoroughly committed to the mission. Mm -hmm. And the mission is becoming the next lieutenant governor. Mm -hmm. And so I knew I couldn't be doing anything halfway. I don't do things halfway. Yeah. I'm totally committed to what I do. Mm -hmm. And in this season, as you stated, to everything there's a season. Mm -hmm. And in this season is the season to become the lieutenant governor for the state of Delaware. Right. For the people. Mm -hmm. For the people. Yeah. And 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 I'm I'm grateful for that. As you are moving about through the state, um, talking, knocking on doors, trying to, because uh, I don't think nobody's going to outwork you. Never. <laughs> uh, but, Never. but as you're doing that, what are you receiving? When, I mean, are people receptive or do you feel that there's, they're not really receptive? It's interesting when you knock on doors. That's such a great question because upon knocking on the doors, this is what happens. I would say 98% of the time it's Oh, you really are, Sherry. Hmm. This is you. I'm listening. Like, uh, I tell you what happened yesterday. This was the funniest thing. The woman said to me uh, two days ago. The woman said, I, "I don't listen. Don't come up to my house. I don't wish to be bothered. I'm just putting my plants out right now. Keep it pushing. I'm not. I'm not interested." And I said. Hello, ma'am. My name is Representative Sherry Dorsey. She said, oh, come on, baby. Come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> she said, oh, you at my door and I'm getting smart. <laughs> and I said, ma'am, she said, oh, no, I don't want to hear anything you have to say because I've been following you Amen. as you follow God. Mm -hmm. So put your sign, do what you need to do, but know that we're going to be supporting you. And yeah. I said, ma'am, thank you. Yeah, and you know, one of the reasons why she probably had already did her pre-speech in her head mm -hmm. is because even on Saturday at my house in the development, the community that I live in, right. I had three different campaigns ringing my doorbell. Mm -hmm. But listen to this. Not one of the three campaigns was the person who was running. Wow. 
That's a problem for me. Now, I know who I'm going to support in all of these elections and so, things of that nature, but she probably was, had that in her head. She, she, it, okay, you're here to represent whoever, whether it be Sherry or whoever. Mm-hmm. Um, but for, to show up, mm-hmm. it matters. So that's that old school um, ground roots uh, system yes, of sir. saying, you know what, I care enough to show up. Mm-hmm. I, I, I know we have a, a staffers and things of that nature, but to show up really matters. You are um, a, a, a true blessing. Now, when you are out and about and people are, um, are receiving you, um, how have life been for you? Because you are just all over the place. <laughs> how have life been for you? This past week, we had two debates in one day. Mm. Yes, we had one in Newcastle, and then we had another one in Smyrna. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, you don't want to say you have debate fatigue because (laughs) you want people to be able to hear what needs to be stated. Mm -hmm. Uh, But what I can say is, whatever the people need from us Mm -hmm. in this season, they will get, and especially me, you Mm -hmm. will get what you need. We've had maybe 13 debates or something along that line. Yeah, we played one on our, yes, on our show. On our yes, show. Yeah. yes, yes. We've had so many debates. Yeah. and but, it, but what it does is it helps people to make up their mind mm-hmm. about who really cares about the issues, mm-hmm. who is sincere. And like, for instance, Representative Stephanie T. Bolden has a piece of legislation, mm-hmm. and that legislation moves our primaries to the same time as the presidential, right. which would be the fourth Tuesday of April during presidential years. The House has always voted for it. I have always been a yes for that for that bill. And there are some who have not. And there may be one in particular who's running who voted not voting for that. When we're talking about voting rights, Mm -hmm. we have to talk about everything. It can't just be one part of voting rights. It has to be all of the dynamics. Mm -hmm. And my record is such that my yes is yes Mm -hmm. and my no is no. In my entire career, Mm -hmm. I've never voted, forgive the double negative, not voting. Mm -hmm. Okay. It has always been yes or no. Mm -hmm. And I stand by my my votes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, you, you, I, you put enough legislation out there that you are, I, I labeled you as being the queen of the <laughs> legislation, uh, but I do find that you have not flip-flopped on I your don't. positions. Mm-hmm. And I think that's really critical for a time such uh, that we're living in now. And where I don't go along to get along either, Dr. Curry. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. I don't go along to get along. Mm-hmm. And so we have to be mindful of who we're putting in these seats. Yeah. Are we putting individuals who will continue the Delaware way or are we looking for a new day? Mm, I like that. And when you made the comment about um, you don't, vote or get a go vote to get along go along go, to get go along. along to get along mm-hmm. um i i'm i'm appreciative to that because we live in a time where people if you disagree with them mm-hmm. or or they disagree with you it's 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 like killing them i've not really heard you speak in disparaging terms about even the people who are running i have for you i'm going to be straight with you because i told them on the source and I couldn't believe, you know, and my darling sisters of Alpha Kappa Alpha, uh, that you could have two people running from the same sorority. And unless you have always said, Dr. Curry, that's not for me. I'm not getting involved. I'm going to run my race. With endurance. But I'm going to say <laughs> what I want to say. And I'm really mesmerized and shocked. But I want to give you credit for being able to get move through the, 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 the legislative halls get a lot of powerful legislation passed Thank you. and 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 be able to work with even the naysayers yes only thing the only criticism i'm gonna have is are, are you teaching your younger women and men how to do this this is an art you got to be skillful you you might have come give me the class too <laughs> i don't know absolutely those who desire to learn i'm willing to teach yeah and so Alex Hackett is one of those who has decided he wants to learn. And so I've been teaching him all along. And there are some others. Councilwoman Xanthi Oliver. I mentor her as well. There are those who have said, listen, I see that this is an art form. And I would like to be, I would like to learn Mm -hmm. this. And anyone who comes to me and says, I would like to learn this, I teach. Excellent, excellent. And it's interesting, you named um, Alex Hackett, Hackett, and I saw him at the debate the other night, Mm -hmm. and um, he said to me, he said, Pastor Curry, they're not doing any debate for 
the city council at large, mm -hmm. and he's one of the candidates for the city council mm -hmm. at large, and I endorsed him. Mm -hmm. and, and I said to him, I said, well, let me work on it. Mm -hmm. So I want to say to those of you who are listening, uh, the last Thursday of the month, we're going to have a city council at large debate. So United, um, uh, what's the name of the group that that um, uh, that sponsored the debate on, on, on last week? The National Coalition of 100 Black Women? Not them, the- uh, 100 Black Men, the- uh, United, uh, the oh, oh, Kobe Workforce. Uh, Metropolitan Me Wilmington Urban League. The Urban Excuse League, me. I'm so sorry. And but, A. But, but the Urban Excuse League yes. is going to be uh, announcing it very, very shortly, so I don't want to give too much away. But 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 you, you, are, you are doing the right thing. I just want you to, even one of the young people that you are mentoring now, he mm -hmm. spoke up and said, look, we need to do something because mm -hmm. people need to see and be exposed and not just follow along to get along and mm -hmm. things of that nature. So I think that's, that's awesome. But before we go, I just want to say, tell us, how can a person donate to your campaign? How can they do that? You can go to SherryDorseyWalker.com and you can make a donation on the website. You can also send a donation to P.O. Box 30553, Wilmington, Delaware. 19805 and the check can be made out to Dorsey Walker for Delaware. I thank you in advance. And for those of you who are saying, I really just can't afford to make a contribution. The greatest contribution you can make is September the 10th with your vote. Thank you in advance and God bless you. Yeah. All right. You heard it. We'll be right back. Local news and politics in the city of Wilmington, Delaware. The latest headlines with your host, Dr. C.T. Curry. But they get rich, get new cars, get new houses, get new opportunities, but the community is still getting nothing. And co-host, Kobe Owens. And from that time, we have slowly seen our democracy become under attack. Weekly episodes, Sundays at 5 p.m. The Source. Greetings, I am Wayna Dobson, your candidate for Wilmington City Council at Large. I have served our community and constituents for over 35 plus years. And in doing so, I decided that I would run. I want to be an advocate, continue being an advocate for constituents and those in the community. I want to be a listening ear and get a resolve done for you. You are important to me and that's why I am running. So I am asking that on September the 10th that you vote for me, Wayna Dobson, Wilmington City Council at large. How you guys doing today? My name is Brandon Snow. I am president of South Bridge Civic Association. I have been a long-term uh, resident of South Bridge. For those who don't know, uh, my grandfather was Willie Snow. We had Snow's store on B and Hilled, which was a long-standing staple in the community. I, I'm here as the new civic president to pledge my transparency and see the growth and prosperity of our community going forward. For those who uh, need to reach me, uh, feel free to uh, reach out to me via email. It is Southbridge Civic Association DE at gmail.com. Uh, and if you need to reach me uh, by phone, feel free to reach out as well. I can be reached at 302 363 4788. Thank you. And we're back. Well, great conversation on the front end. I really want everyone to take serious to this conversation. But one of the things, you know, we we, we certainly need your finances to help 
uh, Representative Do Walker to do the things that she needs to do in order to get into the lieutenant governor's seat. And many of you may know that a lot of the machine folks, uh, the folks who whatever, they don't vote, but they, they got a few whatever, have endorsed uh, other candidates because of the establishment. But we have to find a way to ensure that we're voting. No one can vote for you. No one should be able to. And some people are brought up through the system to do what they do. I want to make sure those of you go to your neighbor, go to the supermarket, tell them we have to vote because as long as we allow the machine and, and, and for those of you in the political realm, you understand what I'm saying to dictate who our leadership or our, 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 our representatives are. They're going to continue to do that. And I was very disheartened. And I don't, I don't know how far you even want to say anything about it, but I was very disheartened that they would, that, that the, in, that the quote unquote machine folks was, um, had endorsed one of your, uh, people who were running, running for the same position. And, um, I, I is there, how did you feel about that? I anticipated it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, and was there a reason why you anticipated it? Do you really think? Do you really think that some people want to see someone of my ilk in that position? Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to push you to say certain things, but I know that you are very, you're very polished and you don't want to, want to but no, I, I yeah, I, I know, but that's why we have to get out and do what we're supposed to do so that we can overcome. But, but what talk, let's talk a little bit about endorsements since we, since we're there, I was just disturbed with the one like, okay, y'all, y'all, we're going to vote for this person, but, We'll let that be. We're not going to let anybody tell us what to do. Let's talk a little bit about end endorsements. So take that disturbance and take 20 people to the polls. Uh -huh. That's what I'm going to ask you to do. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Yes, take 20 to 25 people. Yeah. And then that way, that'll help, help quell that disturbance. Yeah. And, and encourage those 25 people to take two more people with them. Mm -hmm. That's how we deal with the disturbances. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Elect Black Women PAC has endorsed me, uh -huh. the Collective PAC, and these are two PACs, national PACs, that are committed to seeing black women. Black Elect Black Women PAC is committed to seeing black women in office, and mm -hmm. the Collective PAC is committed to seeing black people in office. Mm -hmm. These two same PACs have endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris for mm -hmm. President of the United States, so I believe I'm in good company. Yeah. What is the greatest endorsement uh, one can give to you? A vote. Okay. Say that again. A vote. Also, oh, so you're saying the greatest, saying endorsement the is, greatest a vote. Of, is a vote. That's right. And 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 I and I got some information on for those of you who saying, well, I'm definitely on September the 10th going to give my vote to uh, Sherry Dorsey Walker. Let me tell you, the Powell Center is doing something great. Mm -hmm. We have early voting. It's going to be important. And there's two two little segment times there. It's August the 28th through the 31st. You can go to the Powell Center as long as you're registered. You can go to the, I don't care where you live at in the state. Am I correct? Because it's, it's a, it's a statewide, you can vote. You can go to the Powell Center August the 28th through the 31st. It's on the bottom of your screen now. And you, as long as you have whatever ID you need to have and you can vote. It's from 11 to 7 p.m., 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. for those days. Vote early so that on the 10th, your vote will already be counted. We never know what's going to happen. You may get called out of town. The emergency may happen. You're going to have to get out. And, and if I were you, I would go right away. And then if you miss that time, you are, we're also having it from the 4th, September the 4th through the 8th. And it's going to be from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. The Powell Center is having it. And I think that's what I'm probably going to do. And we're going to talk a little bit in a few minutes about souls to the polls, because I think we did it about four years ago. Yes. And man, we took two of our vans. The church folks just all got in there. We had a good time there too, because yes. I knew a lot of people there. Absolutely. So I thought it was really great. So that's something we're going to talk about in a few moments. Um, Have a Holy Ghost party. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, it won't well, take much for that to there start go. going And up. you know what? People can also vote at the Claymont Community Center too. Oh, really? For those who live in the Claymont area, okay. they can go to the Claymont Community Center for early voting as well. Great, great. And, and our broadcast extends out and yes. this will be on YouTube as well as yes. Facebook. So that's, that's very good. Um, but, but vote, yes. <laughs> that's the key. We have to make sure that on the 28th of August through the 31st, you're voting, your voting is from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then on the September the 4th through the 8th, 
it's going to be 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And I think that would be great. And, you, and the Claymont Community Center is, is another place you can go. But for those who are in Wilmington, you can go right over to the Powell Center, right on Market Street and vote. Well, what are some of the things? And then we're going to go back to trying to make sure people know how they can contribute through their giving as well as service. What are some of the things that you're looking forward to doing? And it's not being redundant. Sure. I want you to just to be able to continue to articulate your position. What are some of the things you're planning to do with this position? I did forget something. The Kent County Democratic Committee endorsed me as well. And I think that set off a oh. hailstorm. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. That's yes, somebody's yes. territory. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, but what would I desire to do? I desire to ensure that people have access to affordable housing, mm -hmm. and that means working with the General Assembly and legislators up and down the state, whether it's a city council level, county council, and as well as the General Assembly. I desire for people to have access to economic opportunities, that we must deal with our opioid crisis. And, you know, Dr. Curry, I don't know if I mentioned this to you. I created a vertical forum with some community members at the Byard School. Mm -hmm. And because we can't grow out, because we're landlocked in the city of Wilmington, we can grow up. Mm -hmm. And what that means is we're teaching our children to grow their own fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So if we can have cancer clusters in Delaware, why can't we have healthy clusters? Mm -hmm. So I'd like to take this model up and down our state and so that our children can have access to healthy foods and healthy living. Mm -hmm and just transforming the way people think. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. When you spoke of, um, and I love that idea too, but when you spoke of the whole notion of affordable housing, mm -hmm. it is important it that is. Um, we have it. And one of the things you said earlier was, a person who's gonna be in the position of Lieutenant Governor mm -hmm. should have some experience. Absolutely. From the city of Wilmington city council position mm -hmm. to the state representative positions that you have in the committees you set on, you are thoroughly in the board of parole mm -hmm. and, and on the yes. or board of parole. Mm -hmm. So you are thoroughly immersed for this position. I am. You're not coming as a novice. I'm not. I'm not a neophyte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So 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 you really do, you come with the experience, and when you're saying something you would like to do. There's a proven track record that you're already There's working on. There's a proven on. track record. And the other thing is making sure that we get our veterans involved. Mm -hmm. When we talk about homeless veterans, that's an mm -hmm. oxymoron. Mm -hmm. No veteran should ever be homeless yeah. after he or she has served our country proud. Mm -hmm. After they have served our country proud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember when um, we had the problem on Adams Street. Yes. Um, the first person, one of the first people there were you. Yes. And that wasn't even your, was that your district? And not at that time, it was not. Okay. And, 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 and it, it was didn't funny. It matter. It, everybody, right. everybody in yeah. this state yeah. is my constituent. Uh, amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I was saying to Colby at the time when we were on, we were, do, we were covering it on our show, I was like, isn't that Sherry Dorsey Walker? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, she was there. She was there <laughs> just trying to help and just trying to Excuse provide. Mm -hmm. and, and some of the legislation that you put forward yes. can help them in the future. Absolutely. And the other thing is just being mindful of when you're trying to pass legislation, you do have to work with your leaders mm -hmm. and your leaders have to put the legislation on the floor. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But one of the pieces of legislation that we were able to get passed was House Bill 70, abolishing the death penalty. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. which is very huge, for, especially for many people such as myself who was very much in support of that Absolutely. bill. Absolutely. Yeah. And yes, the faith community was huge with mm -hmm. that bill. Mm -hmm. And I must say, I want to say a special thank you to the faith community mm -hmm. and to pastors up and down the state who Good. have been just so welcoming, so loving, mm -hmm. praying over me, covering me. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many days we got left? Is it in your head at all? On this day, as we're recording, it's okay. 27. Okay. But when this airs, mm -hmm. it will be somewhere around maybe 14 or so, but who will be 14, 13, something like that? Yeah. <laughs> Do you, are you, are you scheduled, have you scheduled yet a victory party anywhere? <laughs> Because we're gonna, we believe by faith that you have already gotten a victory. So, because regardless, I just want to know if you got any place scheduled yet. I think our team is working on that. Okay. But what I'm doing is I am walking out this journey. Okay. So I'm knocking on the doors, I'm mm -hmm. being with the people. And I'm uh -huh. doing what I have been ordained to do. Okay. All right. Well, I was trying to find out where the after party is going to be so that we could have a little after party fun. But, 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 but. I'm but, sure but, they'll send you a notice. Yeah. I'm sure. Well, I have to be here with, with Wayna because Wayna's going to have her, um, her after party, not after party, but her, her 
victory party here at our at, at the fellowship hall at the church. Oh, really? So yeah, I, I I always like to offer and do whatever I can to support those who I'm supporting. Okay. In this run. Well, maybe um, we'll for, be here too. Uh, hey, I wouldn't be mad. Okay. We could bring three or four, but it only be those who <laughs> and and those who you support. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> and you know, Wayne is another one who who yeah. calls and asks, "Is there hey can is there something with which?" You know, you can help me or I can help you. Mm -hmm. Wayna is another person who wants yeah. somebody to pour into her. And that's like spirits, mm -hmm. because honestly, yes. when I had her on the show a couple of weeks mm -hmm. ago, and, and I, I talked to her about her, how selfless she is. When she, she is. worked for years for the Congo Funeral Home yes. and how she handled families yes. during times of hurt and pain mm -hmm. matter. And I said, it's going to now start pouring back. Likewise, going back to yourself, mm -hmm. you you may not have worked at the funeral home, but you were there doing very low moments in people's lives. Uh, well, sometimes they called upon me to work at the funeral home. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you had the right suit on. Go help. <laughs> and, and you were right there to do it because it, there was no question. job too small, no no no, no nothing too question. big. Yeah, Always and and that speaks to, to it. And I and for those of you who are watching us today, this this is not one of my formal type interviews because I'm very strongly of the opinion that the work one has done speaks for itself. But oftentimes, um, Representative, people don't know the work mm. because some others have tried to overshadow it. Mm. But I wanted to make sure today, mm. as we bring you back right before it's time for the election, that people know that you have been about this work for a long time, starting in city council, mm. but you have made a difference. You have not sat anywhere. Mm -hmm. You've constantly made a difference, not a noise that was just loud, mm -hmm. like an empty wagon, mm -hmm. but you made a noise that was impactful. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what matters to people like myself. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who are watching today, you have to continue to move it forward. The greatest gift you can give to evil is not to elect the Sherry Dorsey mm -hmm. Walker. That's the greatest mm -hmm. gift because mm -hmm. you have shed it light in dark spots. Yes, that is correct. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's why the the big endorsement, quote unquote, from the powers to be went somewhere else because the enemies of the world of of, of the of the faith and of 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 of, of goodness mm -hmm. don't want to see a person like you move any further. And matter of fact, didn't want to see you move when you go into city council. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to see you there when you went to state. But you went, you were successful and did well. That's why we believe by faith that you're going to do very well when you become the lieutenant governor. Matter of fact, when I text you today, I said, Lieutenant Governor. You sure did. <laughs> I, said, I said, listen, blank, 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 blank. Um, so I'm, I'm just, I'm just really, I'm just excited. And I want the people to know that I'm comfortable with you. And that if we didn't do this interview the way I normally do them, it's not because we're not prepared. It's sure. really because I want them to see Sherry. I want them to, and you don't mind me saying Sherry, Lieutenant, At do all. you? Okay. Oh. I, I, I want them to see you and to see the work you've done and, and the sacrifices that mm. you have made. I mean, mom is happy for you. Hollywood yes. is happy for you, but in they, our team, in our team. And, 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 and you know, yes. I should know that our because team. they call in every five minutes and they're making sure everything is in place. And yes. matter of fact, at the, the debate, um, since we were on the team, I'm just going to mm -hmm. take a moment. Um, um, I, I, I think I forgot her name, the tall young lady. Karen. I guess her, mm -hmm. Karen's her name. Um, and, and she said, I don't mean to bother you. Oh, but Amanda, I'm, Amanda. I'm, okay, Amanda. I don't mean to bother you, but um, but I just want to see the space. Right. And I and I brought her over and I showed her the space. I showed her the kitchen and she was so excited. Yeah. And and then, then she had more questions. Yeah. And I answered them and then she had more questions. Yeah. So they, they really care about the details. They really care about yes. you. They really care about your success. And, and I'm very grateful that God has put people around you. I am too. Who care about Sherry. Yes. Not not your status, right? But the person. So for so the hu the husband, your yes. mother, the yes. team, yes. and the My people sisters. are praying mm -hmm. for you. Your pastor yeah, and pastor. others. We are yes. very we are yeah. very grateful. And your sorrows, yes. this mm -hmm. side of the. <laughs> 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 I, they they have been helped. They yeah, been helped. I want to keep it on. <laughs> uh, but, but 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 we're just grateful for all of them because you belong to many worlds, not just one. Yeah. But you have impacted each one that you're in. You're not just drifting. And you know, that's it's what interesting. Saying. At my retirement, Republicans and Democrats stood up and talked about how was the peace oh. and how I made it easy for them uh -huh. to, have, to, to be able to walk out their faith. Wow. Because 
they wanted to be able to do it, but they didn't have the space to do it. And when they saw me do it, they were like, okay, I can do this too. Yeah. And you don't- True to who you are. Right. And you don't spit it in people's face. No, I don't. You walk who you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think Mm -hmm. that's so, so some people can't handle that, but, but I love it because you don't say, hey, you better be at Bethel on Sunday morning. That's right. It's like, okay, I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do while I'm doing it. I'm letting my light shine so that everyone can know that God is real. Right. And he's he's he because the energy you have, God has to give you that. He, he has to. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I can say this. I do want to say a special thank you to Bethel AME Church yeah. yes. because they have been amazing. Yeah. I have been up and down this state going to different churches, and my church has just been covering me. My pastor, yeah. Reverend Dr. Stanley Hurst II, has uh-huh. been covering me, and I'm just grateful for my Bethel yes. family. I'm coming home. I'm yeah. coming home. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, you're right. You are, mm-hmm. but 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 that's what. And I, and I give credit to your pastor yes. and to, to Bethel because that's really what we're supposed to do. Yeah. We're supposed to speak um, a truth to power. Yeah. And it's not always the pastor speaking the truth. Mm-hmm. It could be the parishioners as well. Right. And in this case, it's a parishioner and we have to push to make sure they can continue to do so. Yes. So hats off to Bethel, which is not unusual for Bethel. Right. And, and hats off to uh, Dr. Hirsch as well. Uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. Hello, my name is Kobe Owens and I'm running for the Democratic nomination for the City Council 1st District right here in Wilmington. Um, I am running on a platform of addressing our affordable housing crisis, making sure we're helping both homeowners and renters both live in this city, live in safe and affordable housing. I'm running on a platform to address affordable housing, but also looking at quality of life issues, making sure that our street signs are up, our streets are fit, our sidewalks aren't cracked, and making sure our communities are safer for everyone. And lastly, I am running on a sustainable, sustainable development an economic growth platform, one that makes sure we're investing into our neighborhoods and our best investment that we can make is investing into our youth, making sure that we are preparing them for our future. And then lastly, expanding senior programming to make sure that they continue to age in place right here in the first district, in the city of Wilmington. I'm doing this for y'all. Vote for Kobe Owens. Hello, Wilmington. I am Michelle Harley, and I represent the 4th Councilmatic District. The communities in the 4th District are Southbridge, the Riverfront, Midtown Brandywine, Trinity Vicinity, and a portion of the East Side. I am running for my re-election on Tuesday, September the 10th for the 4th District City Council seat. And I would love for you to donate and to consider volunteering. To learn more about what I am doing and what I plan to do, you can visit my website at www.michelleharley.com. Together, we can move the 4th District forward. Thank you. Hello, my name is Eugene Young. I'm incredibly thankful to be here. Um, I am a candidate for U.S. Congress, um, and I believe when it comes to Congress, it comes to service. Uh, One of my favorite lines about service is you can't lead without loving, you can't save without service. So what's the depth of your love? What's the quality of your service? So this aspect of love and service is what brings me here before you today um, and wanting to take that and extend that into Congress um, as we move forward. I look at my last 20 years of serving the community and I look forward to um, having another 20 and being able to find more ways to even better serve Um, the community which has given me so much so please feel free to join us at eugeneyoung.com that's e-u-g-e-n-e y-o-u-n-g.com that's eugeneyoung.com if you're interested in volunteering or donating it could be five dollars a month it could be a hundred dollars a month it could just be a standard donation of of ten dollars we appreciate it all thank you so very much and wishing you a wonderful beautiful day
and we're back. Listen, it has been a phenomenal conversation today. Just in a few days, the early voting is going to happen. I need you to make sure you're voting as early as possible and taking as many people as possible to vote because it's important that we get Sherry Dorsey Walker elected. Okay. Representative, I don't know what to call you, Lieutenant Governor, or whatever, but <laughs> but but listen. Is being lieutenant governor or running for lieutenant governor more than just having a press conference? It absolutely is. It's bigger than just showing up for a picture. Mm. It's doing the work behind the scenes. It's bigger than a camera. Mm -hmm. It is what's happening when the cameras are off. What are you really doing? And is your work speaking for you? Mm -hmm. And that's where I am. The, the bills that your church worked with me, my church, and mm -hmm. churches up and down this state, as I mentioned, abolishing the death penalty, mm -hmm. ensuring that we remove fines and fees for those who have been previously incarcerated, mm -hmm. changing the child support system, stopping the revocation of one's license and incarcerating individuals, and stopping the poverty shaming of our children mm -hmm. when a parent couldn't afford the bill plan. These are the things that have had adding black history to the state's curriculum, mm -hmm. creating commissions to protect our vulnerable adults. These are the things that the Lord has allowed me to do, putting body worn cameras on police officers up and down the state mm -hmm. and making sure that we bring black financial institutions to the state of Delaware mm -hmm. and ensuring that they have sustainability mm -hmm. and protecting our farmlands, protecting agriculture, our number one industry. These are just some of the work that the Lord mm -hmm. has allowed me to do. Yeah. And you know, what's funny. I, I, I've been pushing you a whole interview to just share all of the legislation. You shared one earlier, then you would share a little bit of another one. And I know you like talking about yourself, but the way you just handled it was maybe that's the way the Lord would have that's it the way the because Lord. you were able to share all of the work. We're not talking about a 60 year career here. Mm. OK, what are we talking about? 10, 15 years, 10, 10 years and mm -hmm. 10 years. Mm -hmm. You've done more than some people who've been around for 70 years in legislative offices and things of that nature. And I'm, and that's what I wanted the people to hear. Mm -hmm. I wanted them to hear that she's not just running to be running. She's out there doing the work. And, 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 and the shame bill, I mean, that, we were on the show. How could, and being a kid from the projects, mm -hmm. I understood how that is easily done because it was done even during my era. And they were they couldn't participate in extracurricular activities. Unacceptable. On top of it all. If I could not play football mm. when I was younger because of a bill I did not pay, my mother didn't pay. What would that have done to you mentally? Mentally, mental and, and honestly, mm. because that it was the football that helped me to handle some of the anger I had. Yes. yes. And people don't understand. Mm. When you did that, I was like, wow. And I... Mm. I I, I'm sitting there saying, wow, look at what could have happened to me. But we'll look at what happened to others because it was happening. House Bill 263. Wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And then about that whole, you know, the, the, the child support. House one. Bill 267. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I like that one a little bit, too, mm -hmm. because I, I deal with a lot of young brothers who you really. You like that one a lot, though, Dr. I Curry. did. I talked about it a whole <laughs> lot. I, but I, but brothers who try, they, they've made mistakes mm -hmm. and they have acknowledged their mistakes. But now they're trying to do the right thing, but they can't get back because there's always something piling back on. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was just awesome, too. So so I'm glad you were able to just run them down real quickly because mm -hmm. I've been trying to get you to do it the whole time. <laughs> people need to know you've been working. Mm -hmm. You've been working. You didn't start working last year like some people mm -hmm. or two years ago mm -hmm. like some people. Mm -hmm. You've been working and you got proof to prove it. Yes. I don't know where we're going to be with this whole, uh, whether you be watching us by YouTube or if you're watching us on Facebook, if you're watching us on Channel 28. I don't know where you're watching us at, but if you can vote in the state of Delaware, I'm begging you, I'm, 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 I'm asking you, this is a time for us to really step up. I, let the governorship happen when it happens. It's about now the next step. And the next step of being able to deal with people who, who, who have been incarcerated but have served their time, have done what they needed to do, have, 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 have paid their debt to society, we have to have someone in there who can look at them and understand with empathy, not sympathy, mm -hmm. with empathy that, okay, let's move forward in partnering and getting them back to the family, back to the community that they really love and have made a mistake in, but have paid their debt for. 
These things matter now. And that's why I've been asking you all to please support. And I listen, there's three candidates to my understanding. I'm not going to name any of them because I don't give nobody any free press. But there's one candidate who I know have a track record. And, and it's not like I been paid. I don't know which camera is on me. Put mine on me. I, I don't. I, I've not been paid by Sherry Dorsey Walker. I, 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 I've given to her her campaign because I'm invested in her. But but I've not paid by her. She's not done any favors for me. I just believe in the work you've done. You. you all me. I mean, when, and Kobe is the one who bring all the political stuff to the show, to the other show. And when I said, what, Bill? And what is that about? And we get into it. And, and you're right. When we got into that one about the... the the the, the, the um, Child support. Um, the, the poverty shaming. The, not the poverty shaming. The, one, the other one. Um, Child support. Child support. Mm -hmm. when, when, when it got, I was like, oh, my gracious. I didn't know she was even doing that. But I knew you were doing a lot of bills. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, there were so many bills I couldn't remember them all. And making Juneteenth a permanent pay state holiday. Amen. <laughs> you forgot about that one, didn't you? <laughs> but, 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 but that that is... That is true, and that is so powerful uh, that people know exactly what you have done and is going to do in the future. And that speech therapy was key. Okay. You you were talking, you and Kobe talked about that as well. Yeah. And speech therapy, compelling insurance companies to cover speech therapy oh, yeah. for our children. Yeah. Yes, for middle class families. Who are we have struggling. four, five mm -hmm. children here who are receiving those services. Wow. Praise God. Yeah. And, and I, think, I think people don't understand the impact. Mm -hmm. This is not about this is not a time to play politics. Mm -hmm. This is a time to, to, to vote for people who are doing the work. Mm -hmm. Or for people who want to do the work and um and and they've been tied down to certain things. Change is needed and you represent change. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. put it that way. I'm not even gonna try to make it flowery. Change is needed and you represent change. And I'm looking forward to the 10th of the announcement on the 10th of September mm -hmm. that our new lieutenant governor mm -hmm. is Sherry Dorsey. Walker. Well, then I'll have a, a general after that because I have a Republican challenger. But we're gonna. I ain't worried about that. We gonna get. I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about something. Don't worry about. Matter of fact, I'm not even worried about the first part. Um, but 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 the Lord will speak on the tenth. And because that's God's number of divine interventions. See see how see how see how theologically sound you are. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So Thank so we we hope and trust that um once it's all settled we'll be able to give some victory on that. Um you you had an opportunity to thank your family, your team. You had an opportunity to thank um, um pastors. whoever yeah, pastors and church, things of that nature. Church. Now, could you just take a moment and just sh talk to my audience mm -hmm. on why they should really vote for Sherry? First I'd like to just thank you for tuning in and Dr. Curry, thank you for having me on today. Again, I'm Representative Sherry Dorsey Walker, looking forward to becoming your next Lieutenant Governor. I shared with you that I previously served on Wilmington City Council, proudly served on council. I served, just completed my third full term as a state representative. I served on the Board of Parole. The Lieutenant Governor has two roles, to preside over the Senate and to chair the Board of Pardons. I not only am I the most qualified, I'm uniquely qualified for such a time as this. I look forward to serving you. Please feel free to visit SherryDorseyWalker.com to learn more about my candidacy. I would like to say a special thank you to my team for always having my back. You have been phenomenal. Team Sherry Dorsey Walker, God bless you and keep you. To my husband, thank you. To my mother, thank you. And to you, the community, you have been standing by me, putting up signs, assisting with knocking doors. All I ask is let's complete this task. Let's get over this finish line. And on September 10th, make me your lieutenant governor. God bless you. Amen. Well, I, I'm, 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 I'm deeply moved um, and I believe it's going to be all right. I want to remind everybody about September. I mean, I'm sorry, about August the 28th through the 31st. Your vote will be counted on the 10th, but you can vote on the 28th through the 31st of August at the Powell Center or the Claymont Community Center. Um, I know at the Powell Center is from 11 a.m. until 7, August the 28th through the, the 31st. And, and, and you can go and vote. And, and I'm not sure. Do you have to have an ID to vote? Yes. All right. right. Please make sure you have your state ID with you. We don't want to go unprepared. And listen, call someone and prepare. Schedule it like a doctor's appointment. That's mm -hmm. how I would like to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, you schedule say, you know what? This is going to be at the Powell Center mm -hmm. on the 28th through the 31st. I'm going to go on the 29th. 
and we're going to go around one o'clock. And, we, and I'm going to take a couple of my buddies because I have a lot of seniors who watch this show and we're going to all pile in the, in the Chevy uh, and, and, and Sherry wagon. <laughs> and we're going and we're going to go over to the Powell Center and we're going to do that because what I want to do is I'm going to figure out sometimes when I can try to get over it, a couple others from our team yeah. so that we can greet people. Yes. I, I want to be able to, to um, bring live for our show. So you never know what day I'm going to be there. So I need you showing up so that I can do some recording, some pre-recording as we are electing Sherry into office. Now, there are other people I've endorsed, but for lieutenant governor, there's only one person I've endorsed, and that's Sherry Dorsey Walker, who will be our next lieutenant governor. And whether it be in the other offices um, that I've endorsed, I'm going to be there asking you to please support those individuals too. Again, I'm never going to tell you you must vote for anyone, but I'm going to tell you if you if if you on the side. No, I don't know. I got to be careful. <laughs> we love you, and we want you to be. We want you to vote for the right people. Yeah, I ain't going to tell you to vote for Sherry, but I'm going to tell you Sherry's the only person you can vote for. That's what I'm really <laughs> trying to say. Okay, but but I do wanted to make sure um, I got that in, and and I also want to make sure that you had an opportunity to talk to our our audience directly. They see you sometime on. Um, on on the show before us on the um um the the um um, um Twin B Brown show, um but but I need people to know you a workaholic. I mean you you are oh, yeah. you are you are um, last Sunday at our church I preached on God's looking for some holics. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> not not alcoholics but holy holics. Yeah. But you a workaholic. But your holic is that you are addicted to doing what you can do. I'm a holy holic too. Oh yeah, you, uh, are, you, uh, are, uh, you are. You uh, are. Uh, you are. Are you? Are you you're not alcoholic though. No, 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 no. <laughs> that holic. <laughs> no, but, but, but definitely. But I appreciate your mm -hmm. servitude because mm -hmm. that's the part that matters for this season. Mm -hmm. God gives us different people to do different things. I serve as pastor yes. of East Zion Fair. I have, you serve it as pastor, but not of a congregation, but of a community. Yeah, of the if, least of the community. That's right. Community. And I want people to understand that as God has called me, he's called you for such a time as this. As God that's has called right. others to do different things and you're doing the job well. Thank you. People just need to know because mm -hmm. you don't toot your horn enough. Mm -hmm. And I guess they would say you're bragging because if some other people did it, there would be no problem. But mm -hmm. because you are African-American uh, woman, uh, you have to stay in your little um, <laughs> serious matter. Uh, uh, <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> that. I appreciate that. Shout out. <laughs> Uh, make a man. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and for my Delta sisters, that's no doubt I'm with us AK right now. All right, so let me let me try to wrap this up real quickly and just say, if can you tell us one more time how can we get signs? How can we donate? How can we volunteer for Sherry for Lieutenant Governor? Yes, people can go to info at SherryDorseyWalker.com and send an email. They can go on social media, mm -hmm. Dorsey Walker DE on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and X. And people can go to the website, SherryDorseyWalker.com. Mm -hmm. You want to thank everybody for what happened. It was a great time on oh Thursday night. Oh my goodness. Night. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Easy on Fair. And mm -hmm. thank you, Dr. Curry, for your hospitality. Mm -hmm. Comedy show went extremely well. Mm -hmm. And thank the community for coming out and mm -hmm. just supporting, mm -hmm. having a good time, yes. just really enjoying mm -hmm. ourselves. Yes. Yes. In the midst of everything that's happened, I mean, we were able to laugh for two straight hours. Amen. Yes. You know, the Bible says that laughter is like medicine, medicine is. to the soul. It is. So, so it, it was certainly a lot of medicine in the house on Thursday night. Yes, yes. So for yes. those of you who missed it, you missed a treat, and I wish that you would have been here. I hope that you will then now turn this now into action. Let's get out. Let's vote. Let's get out. Let's get those signs on the street. Because sometimes that encourages other people. Mm -hmm. By seeing a sign on your yard, we'll say, oh, they're supporting Sherry too. They'll pull out their sign. Because some people have to be, they have to follow someone else. <laughs> so please make sure you get those signs. Please make sure you donate. Please say, how can I help? On election day, we we need volunteers. Can I join your team for just a minute? Absolutely. We we need volunteers. <laughs> You're we, on the need, team. we need people to get out there. And I'm going to be out there. Yes. Trust me. I'm going to have a shirt made. It's going to be Sherry. It's going to say Wayne. Okay. It's going to say Kobe. <laughs> it's going to say it's going to say a whole say, lot okay. of stuff All because right. I want everybody to know that I'm hoping put and that order in for, now though so you can get it right. Okay. That's, that's, <laughs> yes. You said yeah. put it on what again? Put that order in now. So uh, yeah. <laughs> well, no. I, ha I here at Isaiah Fair we have talented people. Oh, praise who the Lord. Do T-shirts, <laughs> and I'm going to have them to do mine as a okay. special one. Okay. That is going to happen, yes. so people will see truly that we are supporting. And, and I'm probably going to um, hope that I can get you back right before the um, the 10th. But I know you're busy, and I don't want to keep taking your time. So I might even replay this or parts of it because I am thoroughly committed. I have friends. One of them 
knew me from somewhere else. I'm not playing it. When I was called, just so y'all know, I was called and asked, you know, I need your support. And I said, I can't. I'm in Sherry's camp. Uh -huh. and, and so we have friends, but this is not about friendship now. Uh -huh. This is about the community. This is about the seriousness of, of, of a person getting elected who have already have a track record. Mm -hmm. Now, you're a friend, too, but, but I had a decision to make. Mm -hmm. And my decision was I'm not going to hide it. I'm not going to go and, and be afraid of it. I'm grateful to have you as one of my friends. Thank you. Sherry. Likewise. Dorsey Walker, thank you so very much for being with me today. And God bless you real good. Thank you. It's always a pleasure being with you. Right. Anytime. 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 Okay. Yes. When we get when we get finished and you're the lieutenant governor, we're gonna bring you back, okay? Let's do that. All right, we'll be right back. I'm Alexander Hackett, and I'm running for city council at large for the city of Wilmington. Uh, and as always, uh, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. Uh, Wilmington, I see you at the primary, September 10th, 2024. Vote Alexander Hackett. All right. The American Cancer Society's Hope Lodge communities offer a free home away from home, closer to cancer care. People are meant to be together. Donate to help keep it that way. the drive to move forward. For some people, it's a part of who they are. And it's who we are too. For 130 years, Strayer University has been at the forefront of change. With programs that help students get and stay ahead. So you can keep striving. Jason, let's go see your room. And we're back. First, let me say, for those of you who've been watching, saying, why is the pastor on, wearing shorts? It's hard to run Sherry Dorsey Walker down. <laughs> so when I was able to get grab her, I just wanted to make it happen. I wasn't dressed to the level that I needed to be dressed. But that's all right, because the friendship and the earnesty of who she is is all I wanted to make sure I got across. For those of you who, who, who are part of the Wilmington community or part of the Delaware community, uh, she's running for lieutenant governor. I would not have brought her back onto the show if I did not truly and thoroughly believe in her. Everybody who knows me, and for those of you who had the debate the other night, you were saying, Pastor, I watch every week. I'm very grateful for what you're doing. I need your help. I need you to help us. There are many names I could call. I talked about Kobe. I talked about Wayner. I talked about um, uh, um, uh, 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 Hacky, uh, 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 Alex, um, I talked about many people who I'm really endorsing because I believe there's a path of victory for the city of Wilmington. Now, today, I talk about the state. I really do believe that if you would help us get Sherry Darcy Walker elected, I really do believe we will be on the right trajectory. I am supporting Matt Myers as well. I'm not ashamed to tell who I'm supporting. I'm not afraid to do this. But the greatest gift to give to Matt, I feel, it is to give him Sherry because I think she's on the right path. She's got the work ethics. She's doing what needs to be done before coming to the altar, asking for the mercy of the people. Since she's been that great person, since she's been there for us, since she's made sure the legislation have been passed, don't let the negative naysayers have anything to say. Go in, vote on August the 28th through the 31st, between the hours of 11 a.m. and 7 p.m., or on, on September the 4th through the 10th, not the 10th, 4th through the, um, uh, uh, 4th through the 8th, from 7 to 7, I want you to go through and I want you to vote so that on the 10th when the announcement is made, victory 
is in the hands of Sherry Dorsey Walker. I'm looking forward to it. Till the next time we get together, may the Lord God bless you real good. Thank you for watching this episode of Coffee with Curry. Tune in next week, Sunday at 11 a.m.